Okay, so, um, if you're watching this, then hopefully I've been able to insert this in my regular floss too. My hair is wet. <laughs> um, we have tornado, tornado watches today, probably warnings, we're high risk. So, um, I wanted to do my unboxing of the Layla May Stitching with Housewives Retreat Box so that, um, I could work on my, like, make it take it. I could work on some of the projects today because I haven't started anything. Today, um, when I'm recording this, is Thursday and the retreat starts Friday night and there will be some tutorials about finishing. So, it's okay if I don't get it done because... Everything's recorded, but I've, there's a couple really tiny things to stitch, and I like to get one of those done. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm going to my mom's today because um, she lives in a, like, really sturdy apartment building, and I just live in a regular house, so for a tornado warning, it's safer to be at my mom's. So anyway, let's get started. I want to show you what's in my box, and I plan hopefully insert this into a floss hoop on tomorrow Friday and everyone has already received their box and we have permission to show this the only thing I'm not going to show is the um I'm not going to show Priscilla's chart because um I want to let them show everything on social media after the retreat however they're going to show it or whatever so <clears throat> I'll show that in my next video. So anyway, it's a it came in my supplies came in this box from UPS, and I'm sitting in the floor because <laughs> my kitchen table is covered in Legos, cross stitching stuff. I mean, it's just like everything. So I'm just sitting down on the floor to do this. Um, okay, so when you, when I first opened it, there was this cute mason jar with the schedule and um it just has like what all the classes are and they're splitting us up into smaller zoom classes so that you know because there's so many people and then there was a bingo card with a list of words and we're instructed to pick from these words and make our own bingo card for a game which i thought was really fun and it's chick and all the words are stitching words. And um, there was this really cute, um, I call it tomato basket, you know, like a vegetable basket you get at the grocery store. And, um, and my husband was a produce manager for like 20 years, so <laughs> I'm very familiar with these things. Um, and it's full of candy. And I have not opened it because if I had opened it, well, it's not just candy. It's little snacks for the retreat. It's so cute. They tied it off with like raffia and a little flower. So it has, what I can see is M&M's, fruit snacks, some crackers, like Brits and cheese things. I see some of the Amos chocolate chip cookies. So I have not opened this because if I did... I would have eaten probably everything in here, and if I had eaten it, my son would have. So, oh, I don't know what that is. I see some at the bottom. Anyway, so I thought this was super cute for a little snack thing. That was that was a cute surprise. There was also a package of Peeps, Marshmallow Peeps, and I gave this to my son because I don't like Marshmallow Peeps. So, that's the only thing that's not going to be shown in this video, other than tissue paper. I already got rid of that. So, the next thing when I opened it was, there's two, um, there were two zipper bags like this, and this one says, make it, take it kits, and this is everything we need to make the, there's one large project. That is Priscilla and Chelsea's project. And there's two small projects that are Layla May Designs projects. So the Make It Take It are the Layla May Designs. So in this zipper bag, we have 
stuffing. Hopefully the lighting's okay. We have ribbon. There's yellow and buffalo check ribbon. And a cover button. Which is red with little black dots, the fabric. There's crushed walnut shells. I mean, they thought of everything. They did not... The only thing that we need to bring is if we want to finish ourselves, you can use, like, your glue gun. That's pretty much... I mean, you don't have to... They, they, I think there's even needles in here. Um, and this is so cute. Okay. So, this is the first one. And it is called Farm Fresh. And this is Layla May Designs. And this picture doesn't do it justice. They sent us, um, they shared the pictures, the patterns on the back of this. Um, I will insert the picture on here that they gave us because it's a much better view of what we're making. And you finish it on this cute wooden paddle that they make. And the kit also came with the fabric. Which, I'm not sure if it says... To me, it looks like a mushroom Lugana, but I'm not sure. It's a little scrap. It's a little piece of fabric. Big enough. For, I mean, it's a tiny design. And it also came with a little piece of sticky board and the twine for finishing. And they'll have a finishing tutorial for this. My dogs are playing. Also in there was the second... Uh, make it take it which is a strawberry it's called chicken stitch be careful saying that and this is what that looks like and I'll show you the card but I'll also put the, the PDF picture on the screen and it also came with the fabric it could be Monaco I honestly can't I can't tell that might be Monaco it's a little bit too soft for Monaco. Um, it came with... Let me pull all this out. Whatever they use this for, for finishing. Ribbon. The little uh, piece of green felt for the strawberry top. And templates and interfacing. So this is all to, to make the strawberry and there'll be a class on that. I have never made one of those before. So that'll be an interesting thing to learn. I'm excited and I don't particularly like chickens. When I signed up for this retreat, I didn't know that it was chicken themed. I don't not like chickens. I just, you know, they're kind of like whatever for me. I don't, you know, whatever. So, everything's chicken themed. So, if you don't like chickens, you might be in trouble. And I was kind of like, oh, everything's chicken themed. But I'm starting to fall in love with it. And you know what? It's, it's, it's about the experience. I didn't sign up for the theme. I signed up for the experience, so whatever. I could be stitching spaceships. I don't care. And then they also sent the thread that we needed. The DMC's floss pack. And this is the DMC for the Layla May, not for the Priscilla and Chelsea. So this is every all the DMCs we need for those two small make it take it kits. So that's everything that was in this bag. Then we have this bag. This is the Priscilla and Chelsea class kit. Make sure I didn't show a chart. I didn't. Okay. So this comes with the chart. I'm not going to show the chart because Priscilla and Chelsea have not shown the chart on their channel. And I'm sure they probably will this weekend. I'll show it after that. And it's called Chick's Garden. I will say that. <clears throat> she showed sneak peeks on her channel, I think, last week. This is the fabric. 
that they sent. It's a hand dyed. It looks like uh, blue jeans. Looks just like a medium blue jean. It feels like uh, that's definitely feels like Monaco, dyed Monaco. Um, some uh, Priscilla's pretty plaids for finishing, in the red colorway. They see a uh, um, two pieces of sticky board, a big and a small. Some buffalo check ribbon. And it also has a piece of elastic in the bag. Two pieces of greenery. Some little flowers. A needle to stitch with. I'm assuming that's probably a 26 or 28. Um, I know I use a 28 on, my, on the 28 count Monica. Um, and then the floss pack, which is colored in cotton. And I was, I was shocked that it was colored in cotton. Um, I love colored in cotton. Their thread's amazing. And these are the colors. Of course, the first one's one I can't pronounce. Chamois. Chamois. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a beige. It's a grayish, gray tan. Um, Crow, that says limited edition. Let's see. Crow. It's black. Black like a crow. The next one is Tiger Lily. And my lighting's not great in here. But that's, you know, it's a, it's a tiger orange. Um, like... Now, when I say tiger orange, I mean like almost like an athletic team tiger. Like if, you know, Clemson Tigers, whatever. Um, this little dude, <laughs> Petey from Dogman, if, if you uh, have any smaller children in your life, he's from, he's from Dogman. That's my son's bookshelf. Uh, Daffodil, which is like a muted, it's definitely not, it's probably showing up brighter than what it is, but it's like a muted yellow. It's pretty. Tusk, which is their version of 3865 DMC. Um, Bing Cherry. And I have these from, I have Tusk and Bing Cherry from another kit. And that Bing Cherry is so beautiful in person. It's, a, it's an awesome color. I love it. Bunny Nose. And that says limited edition. So I'm not sure if. If they made that for the retreat or if that's just limited edition for the seasonally. And then this is Shamrock limited edition. So those are the floss colors. And then I'll hold it up with the fabric. The pattern's really cute. Okay. So that's a lot already. That was exciting. Um, and then it just kept going. So, okay, the next thing we got was a set of three zipper project bags. So there's, and they still have paper in them. Small, medium, and large. Mine are red. I don't know if everybody got different colors or what. Um, and I'm definitely going to use these for floss in my project bags because, like in my Stitching with the Housewives project bag, my floss is starting to get tangled in my zipper because I have so much floss. And I need one of these for my floss. So that was, that was cool. And then, okay, I'm going to show this. They sent a finishing piece for the Priscilla and Chelsea chart. So if you love Farmhouse, you're going to love this. Is that not adorable? It's a little barn. So, this is, um, it's just a board painted white. I'm trying to think if they purposely made it look like planks. I think they must have some kind of, like, thing that makes that look like planks. Yeah, I think they, 
they must have a, a thing where they scrape and make it look like lines because it, it's it's just one solid board and then they add trim across the front and on the sides and it has like a leaf pattern it's super cute you know when Priscilla gets done with this it's gonna be like super 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 cute so this is a finishing piece for the Priscilla uh, stitching with a housewife pattern this was exciting I wasn't expecting this at all um, I know they make the wood pieces but I mean can you imagine making like 200 of these <laughs> that's crazy it's awesome okay Now's the goodie bag. And this video is already 15 minutes long. Gee, I may post this by itself. Okay. So, there is some of this stuff I didn't know what it was. Okay. I think this is for a chicken pin cushion and it has like some supplies in it and it also has a pack of Xenia seeds so this is a separate little project it has pom-poms fabric the template I think which is the, the bottom of the pin I've made one of these before um, I think that's for the pin cushion and then it has this extra bag oh let me show you the goodie bag came in a black tote bag it's a standard black tote bag, which just, I mean, it's great. I use those for our library books. Um, a pack of Xenia seeds, which if you follow Stitching with Housewives, you'll know Priscilla loves Xenia seeds. Um, and then this bag is just full of finishing things for the chicken uh, pin cushion, the stuffing, the walnut shells, the little whatever that is, the chicken face and stuff like that, a little scrap of fabric. Then, this was in there, which is super cute, a little watering can. Honestly, I'm guessing this is just, like, because it's cute and not because they're going to use it for anything. Uh, <laughs> but it's super cute. A little decoration. Um, oh, this was awesome. This is one of those. There wasn't a card. I don't know if they make. I think they make these. Um, this is the Oort container, and it comes with the magnetic hook that it I mean it's in the bag but you can hook it to that and then magnetize it to something and put your words in there so I thought that was super cute it's chicken fabric with a hoop and that's the inside and then they they put this inside so you wouldn't lose it um a little bottle of lotion and it smells really good. It says farm fresh. I don't know what kind it is. But it smells really good. <clears throat> a tiny little tomato pin cushion. That's how cute that is. Um, four of those magnetic clamps. I was excited to get these because even though I don't stitch with a hoop or a Q-snap anymore. Some of my projects, the fabric is so big and it's just hard to manage and these will be perfect for that. Especially my uh, Santa's Village. The fabric is like, oh, it's like this big and because it's Ada, it's really heavy. Alright, let's keep going. Um, they made uh, one of these floss catchers. So that's cute in the bandana fabric. I received a pattern. This is Heartstring Samblery Festive Little Fobs Barnyard Edition. And I'll probably be doing a giveaway with this. Because I don't think I'll stitch that. Since I don't really decorate with a lot of farm. I like a little bit of farm stuff. But I doubt I'll stitch this. And it's really cute. So I'll probably do a giveaway with that next week. They sent one of their magnet... Oh. One of their magnetic uh, or metal boards you can use for uh, to magnetize or decorate or whatever you want to do with it uh, with a chicken decal. So and that goes along with thing. Everything's like red and yellow chicken thing. Um, this thing 
and I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out this weekend. I have no idea what this is. It's square. I don't know if we're going to use it in one of our projects, maybe, or if this actually is a tool. Maybe it's a corner gauge. Could it be a corner gauge since it's about three inches? But then it has two circles, so I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it has chickens, chickens on it. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. It's this little bag with a little chicken on it. And inside the bag is a pair of the stork scissors. I have no idea, you know, the brand. But they're, they have a nice weight and they have a fob. This is my first pair. It's my first pair of stork scissors. It's also my first scissor fob. Oh, and look at the little chicken on it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And, um, I have to say, I, now I realize what all the fuss is about. It just feels so good. Like, it's a good weight and the fob is really comfortable. Now I understand why people like these things. I mean, that's awesome. It really is comfortable. So, I'm, I was excited about this. Um, you know, scissor fob, I always think they're pretty, but I don't think... You know, I never thought about buying one for myself, but now that I've used one, I want all the scissor fobs. Very cute. And we got this, and this is a Stitching with the Housewives needle miner from Star Scarlet Sky Designs. I think they've had these on their channel. And the Etsy store is... Scarlet Sky Designs TX. So that's really cute. It's like the Ray Dunn mug with the stitching with the housewives. Let me see. Is that the last thing? Okay, that's the last thing. Empty bag. But that's a lot of stuff. That was a nice surprise. Everything, you know, was super cute. The only thing I didn't know was this thing. And maybe it is a corner gauge. I don't know. I'm sure they'll tell us what it is. And since this video is 22 minutes, I'm just going to upload this video on its own. So, today's Thursday. The treat starts tomorrow. And if you have any questions about how the retreat works or anything like that, if you have any questions at all that you want me to answer in next, whenever, I'm probably going to film the floss tube tomorrow. So, I can't answer it in that one. But the floss tube that I filmed following the retreat, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask that. And I will do like a retreat, um, you know, like summary and just talk about the experience or whatever. I have been to one quilting retreat in person. So, I've never done a cross-stitch retreat and I've definitely never done an online Zoom retreat. So, I have no idea what to expect. And especially have no idea what to expect because I'm going to be at home with my 10-year-old son who is, n is not going to mind his own business. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to have my microphone on mute like the whole time. But, you know, it's okay. Um, so, anyway, thank you guys. I just wanted to share my box so that, number one... <clears throat> if you were interested in seeing what it was all about in case they have a future Zoom retreat. Um, and two, so that I could go ahead and start stitching my my stuff. Um, and then I will catch up with you guys later. Alright, have a good day. Bye.